Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Key. Thanks for clicking on me. And if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. This channel is all about biblical information, inspiration, Christ chasing, and exposing the nation. Let's get into it. But today, I just want to talk to the unvaccinated, the people who is putting their foot down when it comes to not taking that vaccine. I don't care if they threaten your job. I don't care if they say you're not going to get no paycheck. You really stood your ground and you decided not to get the vax. I'm talking to the unvaccinated. I just want to say that don't worry. Don't worry. Remember the scripture, all things work together for the good, those who love the Lord. At the end of the day, Jesus got us. Jesus got us. And I just had a revelation revelation when it came down to this world and how, and how it operates and how the Bible explains if you do not love the truth, you will be you will be put into a strong delusion. At the end of the day, you will be having a confused mind. You will think that you are doing is okay when it's really not. And if you ever fell from grace, if you ever like live your life apart from God, you know what that feels like. You feel completely confused, guys. I believe that the strong delusion down here is the medicine, the pharmacy, the pharmaceuticals, uh, the pills, the freaking vaccine. I do not believe in none of that. You want to know why I don't believe in it and I stand firm on not taking any of that stuff that they have to offer because my father... Our brother is a healer. Our brother is a way maker. Our brother is the key to eternal life in general. And you gonna tell me that I need a vaccine to live? I need a vaccine to help me? I need a vaccine to take care of my immune system? Like what? Baby, I don't know about you, but I know about me. And somebody like me don't even get sick. I don't get sick. I don't even believe in none of that. I'm over here. I've been healthy since the beginning of time. I may have had like a sinus cold, but I never was too sick that I had to stay in bed. Jesus has kept me and Jesus will keep you no matter what. When have Jesus ever went in the freaking laboratory and gave us a prescription? When did Jesus make freaking pills when did jesus make freaking potions for any of his brothers and sisters i just want to ask you that when did jesus do that bro i don't you remember if you don't i'm gonna put you on that lady bleeding 12 years spending her money with physicians didn't get better but she got worse okay she got worse. And when she found out Jesus was in town, she said within her, if I touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. And what happened? She was healed. She was healed and God felt, not God, Jesus felt the virtue coming off of his body. He felt something. He was like, who touched me? It's written. He was in a crowd full of thousands of people, but Jesus still felt virtue coming out of him. The virtue of God, the virtue of healness, the virtue of wholeness, okay? She had to confess that she touched him because she got something from him when she touched God. When she believed that God could heal her from her illness, she was suffering suffering for 12 years, baby. 12 years, spent all her money with the physicians, didn't get better, but got worse. But when Jesus came, when Jesus came, she said in her heart, she believed that Jesus was the Savior. She believed that she had a chance with Jesus. She believed that she was able to be whole again if she touched the hem of, of his garment, if she got in contact with Jesus some kind of way. All we got to do is get in contact with Jesus some kind of way. We don't even got to speak to get in contact with Jesus. We can speak with him in our hearts, in our souls. We don't have to really be like, Jesus, what's up? He hear, he hear every thought, bro. He hear every thought. He hear us, and he is going to be with us to the end of the day. Jesus is our savior. Jesus is going to protect us if we allow him, bro. He is not no intruder. He's not going to come in your business if you don't invite him. Bro, we have to invite Jesus into our life. We have to make sure that we are standing on our faith because at the end of the day, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. We are more than the conquerors at the end of the day. 
So this is a video for the unvaccinated. We are conquerors. We must stand on the faith of Jesus at the end of the day. Jesus is the king. Jesus is the most high. Like demons cower at, at the sight of that word, bruh. Just hearing that word, they cower. People, unholy people, unrighteous people, people who don't got a good heart, they can't stand that we put our faith in Jesus and we do not put our faith in this medicine. I'm not taking no medicine that doesn't guarantee no safety, bruh. No safety. People that got this um vax or whatever, they still getting sick. They still getting sick. I'm myself, I still haven't took that. And I ain't getting no COVID. I ain't getting no signs or no symptoms since this thing even happened. I'm gonna be playing. Jesus is with me. And don't forget, Jesus is with you. As long as you call on him, as long as you make sure that you are invited in his presence every day. You don't got to be perfect. We are not perfect. We are not meant to be perfect. But as long as you are calling out on the Father, making sure that he hears you consistently, guys, because we need a consistent relationship with the Father, okay, to stay good, to stay structured, just, just to stay focused in this crazy world out here, man. But yes, this your girl, Key. Thanks for clicking on me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. My channel is all about biblical information, inspiration, Christ chasing, and exposing the nation. Let's get into it. This is a video for all my unvaxxed folks. Yes, just stay. Stay in the center of the love, okay? Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. The only way to heaven, okay? But yeah, see you in my next video.